Ah uh, yes, every superhero has a sort of dark colored badass stealth suit that sometimes looks better than their standard uniform. Well, except for Batman. His standard suit is his stealth suit. In Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, Arthur has his iconic orange and green classic suit, but we also see him rocking an additional blue stealth suit. The blue suit made its debut in 1986's Aquaman issue number one. And y'all know me, I got the books. <laughs> I got, I got all four issues. Y'all, y'all already know what it is. Y'all know I have the books. Anything we talk about, I got the books. This was a four issue miniseries that saw Arthur go up against his brother Orm, of course. The plot saw Orm going after ancient zodiac crystals in a quest for ultimate power. The blue suit was a way for Arthur to stay stealthy while infiltrating enemy territory. And what's interesting is Arthur makes a conscious choice not to include his Justice League communicator in this suit. I really like how Orm is drawn in this book. He looks so menacing and twisted with his helmet and the sharp edges shrouded in darkness. It's, it's pretty sick. This series was a post-crisis event that was attempting to read define Aquaman and I think that's why they incorporated the suit you know to try to make him look more badass and cooler you know because let's be real here this was a character he's not as popular as Batman or Superman or anything like that a lot of people even up to date Aquaman is the butt of jokes in DC constantly help! Somebody help! Rape! scream all you want nobody can hear you out here I can Aquaman help! Hey, 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 let her go. Or what? Or, or, I don't know, man, but you're, you're lucky you're not doing that over here in the ocean. I mean, I, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I thought Namor was cooler from Marvel Comics. Aquaman came first, but Namor was actually cooler to me all this time, you know? So I can appreciate what they were trying to do. And I, and I do think that the blue suit looks pretty sick. It's a bit controversial, but when you think about it, it kind of makes sense. I mean, Water is blue, underwater is blue. Wouldn't it make sense for him to wear like a navy blue suit? You know, just a slick, kind of dark colored suit. To me, it makes sense, you know? But unfortunately, by 1988, he reverted back to his original orange and green suit. It's cool that they found a way to incorporate this in the new movie. I haven't seen it yet, but I hear good things in Y'all know I plan on reviewing it for the channel and, and watching it. Guys, if you want these copies of Aquaman, it's a four issue mini series. If, if, if you want these, you can go to comicbookdirect.com to get them. That's where I got mine. Or if you just want to read them for free online, you can go to readcomicsonline.com. It's basically the soap today for all comic books. You know, you can read it for free and you know, see what you like and don't like. I know I'm late with this new Aquaman love, but I plan on seeing uh, The Lost Kingdom pretty soon and reviewing it for the channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.